Hello and welcome to the June 2012 paper. My students, um, these files are all on Moodle for you to download or for the other students around the world and of course my students as well, click on a link under this video which will take you to ICT Lounge and um, download the papers and the resources for the June 2012 papers. Right, um, now the first part of this video wants you to add an address to an address book in your email. Now I can't show you that because I can't use my email because it's confidential and also I've double checked the specification for this year for the exams that you are sitting and it doesn't mention email at all so I don't believe that is actually going to come up. Um, right so moving on I've downloaded these files they're done I have them and you probably will do at this stage as well because you may have paused the video to do it. Right, so it says, the blurb at the top, um, you work for Tawara Stars Proved Sales and you're going to perform some ministry, uh, administrative, sorry, administrative tasks for this company. Now, we're going to go straight down and you're now going to edit a document about the sales of the cars. So, um, to save important video, I've moved my files over here. So, I'm going to go to the um, past papers for June 2012, which I've saved and the files and we're working on paper two. So now it says um, using a suitable software package which would be any word document um, we need to open up this text file. I think that's the right one. No that's the wrong one apologies this one text file um, JXII text I think that's right isn't it yes there we go right so we're going to get started and as I said, I'm going to try and do these as naturally as possible. So I do make mistakes. And if you see me make mistakes that you could possibly make, you will know how to deal with them um, because you would have seen me make the mistake or you would have had the experience yourself. So, so annoying. I'm not going to pretend to be 100% perfect on this because I'm not. I make mistakes as well. It happens. And we fix them and we move on. Okay. Right. So. Right, you can see it's probably an odd looking document, so we obviously need to set the page size to A4. Oh, don't know what happened there. Oh, sorry, I've got two hands on the mouse. Right, so the page size is obviously not the right size, so we need to set that to A4. Right, so you go to layout size and we select A4. There we go, so now it's set to A4. Right, and set the page orientation to landscape. And landscape is. Okay, right, set the bottom and top and left and right margins to 4 centimeters. Okay, so we've done this in the last paper. If you've done um, 2016 already, and if you've done August 2008, we're familiar with this. So if you want to follow me in the video, you can, but if you wish to pause the video and do this all yourself, um, please do so, okay? I wouldn't recommend you relying on the videos for anything. So in any of the videos, if you wish to um, pause or go without help with a video, I would be absolutely over the moon for you to do that. Okay, so top, bottom and left, I believe it says. Top, bottom, left and right, yep, yeah, there we go. So moving those up to four centimeters. And gonna press OK. So our margins are now set. And place your header, your name left aligned. So if we remember with the headers when we select them, so double click up the top here, header so it's asking for your name to the left your candidate number and center number to the right okay so we'll just select this one because it's just so much easier right so i'm going to shrink this actually so i can access things a bit easier right this one we don't need deleting it Oops. 
So I'm probably being a bit of a perfectionist. Centre number. As I said, I don't even know what it is for my number. Okay, there we go. Right, so centre number uh, right lines placing the footer is today's date. So we go to the footer at the bottom here, as we know, and see it's being difficult. Right, I'm going to go to footer. I'm going to select because it wants footer today's date, centre aligned, and automatic page number on the right. So I'm going to select this. So we should know to go to date and time for that and just select date. It just says the date, it doesn't ask for the time. I'm going to delete this one, we don't need it. And for the page number, okay, that should be in do document info, file path, file, nope, okay. So, oops, oh, no, here we are, silly me. All right, page number bottom of the page and it wants it to the right okay so yep yeah, so we select the one to the right why has it got rid of today's date oh, as you can see sometimes these things just get a little difficult right see what I'm going to do I'm going to move the cursor over here I'm going to put the date and time in here date and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to extend this home alignment center. There we go. As I said, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. You just see me do it. Right. Not going to pretend that I'm not. There we go. So there, if that happens to you, you know what to do in the future. Okay. So right now, um, Right, make sure all the alignments match the margins. So, yeah, I should imagine they, oh, they probably do. And if not, I'll just sort them out later. And insert the heading, Tawara Start Approved Sales. So I'm just going to insert this heading. I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay, so heading. Oops. On the top here. Control V. And set the font size to 26. So we've got some very odd font there. Oops, 26. There we are. And underline the heading. And I'm going to make this actually, see, I'm going to make it match. Right, Times New Roman. I'm going to make it Times New Roman. Okay, right, there we go. So it matches. Um, under the un, oh sorry underline the heading there we go and add the text interview now okay so it says underline the heading and add the text I should imagine that would be underneath it's not really specified but I should imagine it would be right interview with mr luck now buy buy and then add your name okay so right okay so it says make this a subheading so it is a subject heading underneath Okay, so it says set the font size. Um, so it says make the heading and the um, subheading the same serif font. Right, remember sans serif is modern and serif is the older font. Right, so they're both on a serif font, which I'm happy with. And now it says I've got to make this 18. Right, so and make it the subheading italic but not underline. So I'm just going to hold down CTRL my keyboard. I'm going to press U for underline okay so it's not underlined anymore and I'm going to press I for italics okay so that's a keyboard shortcut that you could use right format um, the 
text. Okay, so it's basically, so it doesn't say what, oh, make the heading right aligned, apologize. So they've both got to be right aligned because it's supposed to be underneath. So highlights. This is why you need to read the exam papers properly. Okay, you can see that I missed that there. I skipped it. You may have already spotted it. You may have done it for yourself. Okay, but it's so easy to do once you spent a very long time looking at your screen. And you will do because your exam is two and a half hours. Okay, so um, and the only reason why I went back to check because I sat there and thought, well, if I've got to do columns, how's that going to work? Okay, so now, um, right, how long have I got left? Okay, I've got about four minutes. Right, so now, um, format the text after the subheading to three equally spaced columns. So this is after the subheading, okay, after. So I'm going to highlight all of this text here, right, which isn't a lot, so it shouldn't take you a great deal of time. Right, so three equally spaced columns. So I do believe we go to, um, I'm going to extend this. Right, bear with me, um, layout columns, layouts, okay, so remember to go to columns, three columns, okay, and right, so it says equally spaced columns, so imagine this is nice paragraph spacing, right, columns, more columns, so I'm going to customise, so I'm going to do three and right i'm going to check now um right one centimeter gap between the columns okay so one centimeter gap so i'm going to move these down here sorry spacing here sorry right spacing and i'm going to type this out there we go one centimeter okay and press ok and there we go right and right 12 point sans serif font one point line spacing to be fully justified okay so keep your text highlighted now remember sans serif is a modern rounded font okay so Arial is perfectly fine okay and 12 is the size we're looking for okay and fully justified so we go to paragraph select your alignment and select justified press ok there we are and it justified can you see how it falls into place with the columns there so that's what justified means okay now you can already see that there's spelling errors but don't don't worry about those just yet please okay we're going to carry on until this video cuts out i've got another one minute or so right next thing so it says open a file um cross csv and insert the contents of the table after the last paragraph okay so there's the last paragraph which is here right at the bottom and so i'm going to press enter on that i'm going to open that file Right, and I'm going to control C and if this doesn't work I'll have to do it another way right it's worked okay there it is right now oh, I've got left right okay I've got about 50 seconds let's see what the next question says right so format the text to match the style and the body of the of the fonts okay text in the table make the text top two rows underlined and bold and the top two rows center aligned so i'm just going to i've highlighted the text and i'm going to select Arial as the font and i'm going to put it on size 12. okay there we go right the table's not quite done yet okay right but i'm going to publish this video now because i've only got about 10 seconds so look out for part two